Hey lovely one, Lauren here. Welcome to another practice with me. I hope you're doing really well. This practice is all about gooey goodness. If you're here in the UK, it is so, so warm and everything is just melting. I'm melting, so we're gonna channel this kind of gooeyness as we move throughout our practice today. Just to say, you may hear some external noise. I, there was no way I was gonna be able to film today without having a fan in the room. And I've also got the window open as well. So if there's any noises that creep in, let's just do our best to tune them out as best as we can. And hopefully I'm still coming through to you loud and clear. So our practice today, as I said, we're gonna channel all this gooeyness, move in this really soft, stretchy way. And just as a little note to say, when the weather is really warm and in general, we're just feeling really warm and really hot, there's a difference between our bodies feeling warm and our muscles actually being warmed up and ready to move. So as you move throughout your practice today, just make sure that we're checking in, we're not overstretching at any point because our muscles might still be cold, okay? So just make sure we're taking the time to make sure whatever shape or variation of the shapes we are taking is serving us today, okay? So we're gonna start standing on our feet and we're gonna take a moment just to separate or just to kind of spread the toes into the mat. Maybe also have a couple of blocks nearby if you've got them to hand, but if you don't, no worries, okay? So yes, let's take a few moments just to spread the toes into the mat, feel the weight spread equally between both feet, and then have a little softness through the knees and we're very gently gonna start to dive it down into a little forward fold and let's hang as heavy as we can here. So releasing through the back of the neck, squishing belly to thighs maybe, you can really have as much of a bend through the knees as you prefer here. And you're more than welcome to maybe have just a little sway from side to side. You might even take hold of opposite elbows, use the weightiness of your arms to help you dive further into the stretch maybe. But bear in mind, this is our first stretch of our practice, so it doesn't need to be anything too intense straight away. Beautiful. Just softly start to arrive here. Notice how it feels to spread the toes in towards the mat and allow your legs to be your foundation here. So the legs are strong, they're keeping us connected to the earth, meaning that the upper body again is just free to hang out here. Lovely, well done. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Feel the breath moving up and down the length of your lower spine. You might even feel that kind of rush of blood flow to the head space. And again, it is warm at the moment. So if you feel like this is a little bit too much for you, and in fact, it's actually making us a bit dizzy, you're more than welcome to rise up a little bit sooner here. Okay. Maybe it's just three more breaths. Diving in as best as we can. Deep breath in. Let's fill up the lungs. Deep breath out. Twice more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's go for one more time. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Beautiful. From here. We're just gonna have a little bend through the knees and really gently gonna roll it through the spine. So take your time. Again, we've been upside down for a little bit of time there. So let the fingertips gradually drag up the length of the legs, slowly stacking up bone by bone and the head is gonna be the final thing to lift. And when we feel steady on our feet, let's take a nice big shoulder roll. So lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale, send them down and away. Beautiful, really well done. From here, let's take another deep breath. Let's sweep the arms up to the sky. So again, take your time with these movements. Allow them to kind of be as effortless as possible. As you reach up tall here, let's bring the right hand to take hold of the left wrist. Inhale to lengthen through that left hand side. And then we're going to take a little lean up and over to the right. Beautiful. So breathing into the left side body as we find that side body stretch here. Again, it doesn't need to be too intense straight away. And you're more than welcome to stay exactly as you are. We, what we might do is ground down through that right foot and gently cross that left leg behind the right. Staying on the ball of that left foot and then squaring the hips to the top of the mat. Beautiful. So there might be a little deeper stretch through the side body here. Take as deep a breath as we can. And a deep breath out. Beautiful. 
let's inhale to softly unravel and we're going to bring that left foot secure back behind us now so flatten that left foot down to the ground you can let go of that wrist and again very gently we're going to dive it back down towards the mat but this time taking a cross-legged forward fold so with the left leg crossed behind the right we make a slightly deeper stretch through the left leg especially here we might also not be able to fold as far as we did before so again take it steady you can still have a little softness through the knees here we can still let the arms hang heavy back of the neck release beautiful one more deep breath in one more deep breath out lovely from here let's gently uncross the leg so feet come firmly underneath the hips again and we bend through the knees take your time as you roll up through the spine beautiful slow steady wins the race today take your time really well done maybe take another nice big shoulder roll as you get to the top exhale lovely now as we inhale let's take the arms straight back up to the sky and then this time it's the left hand that's going to take hold of the right wrist draw up through the right hand side and take a little lean over to the left beautiful well done again feel the beginnings of the stretch first of all without going too far maybe and again you're more than welcome to stay as you are or maybe we ground down through that left foot and cross the right foot behind beautiful again square the hips to the top of the mat reaching out through those right fingertips maybe lovely take a breath take an exhale beautiful let's inhale to softly rise all the way up let's secure that right foot back behind us so you might bring that right foot a little bit closer in and then it comes flat down to the earth we can let go of that wrist and again we're going to softly dive it all the way down towards the mat beautiful really well done so this time the right leg might be getting that slightly deeper stretch release through the back of the neck release through the lower spine see what feels different here what feels the same and again no worries if the fingertips don't meet the mats here you're more than welcome to take hold of opposite elbows again take a breath take an exhale and then again let's unravel the legs to bring that right foot firmly underneath you now hang out in that forward fold for just one final breath in final breath out and then bending through the knees let's slowly stack up bone by bone again again take as long as you need with this please don't feel as though you have to rush take that nice big shoulder roll as you get to the top exhale beautiful take a deep breath in let's sweep the arms all the way up to the sky as we exhale we're going to hinge at the hips have a little bend through the knees send the hips to the back of the room dive the heart forwards back into that fold and this time let's inhale have a little halfway lift so maybe it's fingertips to shins or fingertips stay down to the ground your choice now as we exhale let's softly dive it down back into that fold bend the knees so much so we can bring the hands down towards the mat and then let's simply step one foot back then the other keeping the hips lifted high downward facing dog beautiful take as much or as little movement here whatever you prefer but again we're channeling this gooeyness today so we might slowly pedal out through the feet bending one knee then the other lovely might even be a little sway of the hips from side to side imagine everything within you every bone every muscle every fiber of your being they're all just kind of molding up against one another here lovely well done Imagine our joints or our bones kind of slipping and sliding against one another. Lovely. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful. Maybe let's shift our gaze to look in between the palms, the hands. Start to lift high onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees. And we're really gently going to lower the knees down towards the ground. But as slowly as you can go. So just a teeny bit of strength here. Beautiful. Well done. And eventually the knees come all the way down. Well done. From here, you're more than welcome to maybe swing the ankles around to one side. Or you might walk the knees a little bit closer underneath you. Maybe cross the ankles back behind you and then gently release. Sit bones all the way down to the mat. And you can extend the legs all the way out in front. You might want to take a little shimmy further forward towards the top of the mat here. But take a moment just to land. So sit bones rooting down towards the earth. Hopefully feeling secure underneath you. 
And then from here, we're going to bring the right hand, sorry, both hands towards the right knee. <laughs> and let's take hold of that knee in towards the chest. Give it that little hug, little squeeze. And then let's let that right knee fall out to the right hand side, sole of the right foot to the inside of the left leg. I'm going to leave it completely up to you today. You're either going to take an active stretch or a passive stretch. So it just depends on where, what direction you want to take your practice in. So if we want to take an active stretch, we're going to think about digging that left heel down towards the ground, peeling those left toes back towards the face, taking a deep breath in to grow taller and taller. And as you exhale, starting to hinge at the hips. But as you fold, thinking about leading with your belly, chest then chin so we fold with a long spine here and maybe those fingertips creep forward it's beautiful but if you prefer to take a more passive stretch you're going to let that left leg completely relax let it be as soft as it can be and again we take a deep breath in rise up tall but this time as we exhale and hinge at the hips, you're actually going to allow the spine to round slightly. So releasing through the back of the neck and let the crown of the head dive forwards. Beautiful. So they're both very similar stretches here, but they might actually be targeting slightly different areas of the body. So by rounding through the back, we might feel a deeper stretch through the lower spine. But by taking a more active stretch, we might feel it a little bit more within those hamstrings, those muscles running down the back of the thigh here. So see where those sensations reside for you. And you can always mix and match. You can spend a little bit of time in an active stretch and then move towards a passive stretch, maybe. And again, we're thinking about being nice and gooey here. So you might even have a little sway through the torso side to side. Lovely stuff. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. As we inhale, let's slowly creep the fingertips back towards us. We're gently going to roll all the way up through the spine. And then we're actually going to turn to face the right hand side a little bit. So opening to the right side of the mat and bringing your right heel closer towards your groin. Left leg is still going to stay extended to the top of the mat here. Maybe you bring that left hand to the inside of that left leg. And we're going to take a big old sweep of that right arm up to the sky, sending energy out through those fingertips. Beautiful. Well done. And as you lean over towards the left, let's really think about extending out through the entirety of that right arm. So rather than bending through the elbow and just letting the wrist hang heavy, think about extending as best as you can. And even if that means lifting up a little bit higher, that's okay. Deep stretch for the side body. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful. And then as we inhale, we're going to steadily rise all the way back up. Our right hand is going to land slightly back behind us to the back of the mat. We're going to ground down through that right hand, right shin and left foot. See if we can push down through those points of contact and fly the hips up to the sky, sweeping that left arm up and over. So lifting up through the heart space as high as it wants to go, lifting up through the hips. One more breath. And then as we exhale, we softly come down the way we came. Sit bones, just gently land back down towards the mat and take your time as you turn to face the top of the mat again here. Beautiful. Bring that right knee to point back up to the sky. And let's see if we can cross that right leg over the left. No worries if you prefer to keep that right foot down to the inside of the left leg instead, or you might cross it over. It's entirely up to you. And from here, let's bring that right hand to the ground back behind us, growing tall through the spine. So inhale, we shoot those left fingertips up to the sky, growing taller and taller. And as we exhale, maybe bring this left elbow down and it might hook to the outside edge of the right knee. Or we might prefer to just hug the thigh into the chest instead here. So letting whatever feels best for you, softly spiraling round. Beautiful. Let's think about lengthening through the spine, even as we twist here. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful, really well done. Okay, let's take another breath. Let's softly unravel. And let's maybe take a little counter twist to the left hand side to so bring the hands down towards the left. Lightly dip the chin and chest down for a moment. 
And then when you're ready, let's rise all the way back up. Beautiful. From here, let's bring this right ankle to kind of cross over the left knee, kind of the fleshy part of the knee. Lean into the hands back behind you and we're going to slowly slide that left foot in. Beautiful. Now you're going to bring in only as close as it wants to go. So you might bring that left heel super close towards your left sit bone. You might even pick up the bum, shuffle the bum that little bit closer. Let's flex through that right ankle and you're going to send this right knee as best as you can away from your chest. Beautiful. Let's have a little check in with the shoulders. Has we, have we collapsed into the shoulders? Or maybe we can lift up through the heart space, slide the shoulders down the back and pushing your heart space towards your shin here beautiful take a deep breath in take a deep breath out beautiful let's stay leaning into the hands back behind us but maybe now we shuffle the left foot just that little bit further forward so giving yourself a little bit more space here we're going to push down through the hands push down through this left foot and see if we can peel the hips away from the mat Send them as high as they can go. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. Moving a little bit creatively here. Can we unravel that right leg? Kick that right heel to the sky. Take an inhale. Beautiful. As we exhale, we're going to bend into that right knee. Lower the foot down to the ground, but can you bring the top of the foot down to the mat underneath you? It's a little bit tricky. Might also be a little toe crack here. And then gently walk the hands forwards. So we gently arrive into this little crouch here. So we've got that right shin down to the ground, left knee pointing up to the sky. And if we didn't quite get there, feel free to just gently bring yourselves here now in whatever way feels best, okay? So it doesn't matter if the transitions don't always feel great in our body. It's just finding new pathways, new ways to transition from one place to the next. Beautiful. We're going to bring our hands down towards the mat. We might even bring our blocks underneath the hands now. We're going to lift the hips, step that right foot slightly towards the back, but that right foot is going to stay flat down to the ground. We're going to sink into the left knee. So again, belly to thigh, really sink into the knee. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to start to lengthen that left leg, sending our hips to the back, heart reaching forward. So coming into a little pyramid stretch here. Beautiful. So if we have got blocks today, feel free to maybe place them at whatever height feels best for you. And feel free to give yourselves more space. So if you feel like we're really struggling to meet the ground here and we're kind of rounding through the back in order for us to get that a little bit closer down towards the mat, take that pressure away. Either come higher up on your blocks, again, giving yourselves more space, or maybe if we haven't got blocks today, we're actually going to bring our hands towards our hips and so lifting the chest up even more and still thinking about sending the hips back, heart forwards. So this is very much still going to give you that deep stretch and also a little bit of strength for the hamstring as well here. Beautiful. So no matter what variation you have chosen to work with today, hinge at the hips, softly fold over that left leg. Sending your left hip back, right hip forwards. Beautiful. We're just going to take maybe two more breaths here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's go for one more deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to maybe step the hands a little bit further out in front. So bend through that left knee as much as you need to now. And then from here, shift the weight forwards into your left foot and into both hands. We're going to send that right heel to the sky for a little standing split. Doesn't matter how high the right leg goes, just send it up as high as it wants to go. Thinking about lifting up through the inner right thigh, kicking that right heel away. And maybe we let the chest dive down towards this left shin. And again, you can keep blocks underneath hands or maybe hands come down to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Lovely, well done. Let's soften through that left knee. Carefully to step that right foot to the back of the mat. Hands come down towards the earth now. And we very gently step that left foot back next to right. Back into our downward facing dog. Beautiful. And again, you're welcome to take as much movement here as you wish. A little pedaling out through the feet. A little sway of the hips. Almost like you want to find this little slow dance in your down dog. Find all those juicy places of stretch for you. 
Notice that gooey texture in the body. One more breath. One more exhale. As we inhale, let's come up high to the balls of the feet, slowly starting to bend through the knees and seeing how slowly we can lower them down towards the mat. So again, we might shift the gaze to look in between the palms, the hands, and seeing how gently the knees can land down towards the mat. It's beautiful. So again, there's just that teeny bit of strength here. And again, you're welcome to swing the ankles around to one side, or maybe shuffle the knees that little bit closer underneath you, cross the ankles behind you, and release sit bones all the way down towards the mat, and extend the legs out in front. It's beautiful. Again, let's maybe have that little shimmy further forwards to the top of the mat, making sure we've got lots of lovely space back behind us. Let's bring the hand towards the left knee this time. Give it a nice little hug in towards the chest, a little bit of a squeeze, beautiful. Okay. And then let that left knee fall out to the left hand side, sole of the left foot to the inside of that right leg. And again, you get to decide here, do we want to take an active stretch or do we want to take a more passive stretch? Entirely up to you. Fingertips either side of that right leg. We're going to take a deep breath in, grow tall. And as we exhale, if we're taking that pass, if we're taking that active stretch, rather, you're going to think about folding belly, chest, then chin. If we're being a little bit more passive today, we're going to round through the back and let the crown of the head die forward. Beautiful. Notice whether we need to be digging that right heel down to the ground again if we're being active here. Or maybe we decide to just let that right leg rest out in front. Beautiful. Again, see where the sensations are present for you today. And see if we can really send the breath to that space. So if it's in the lower spine, imagine the back body breathing here, breathing into that kidney space, maybe. Or if you're feeling it in the hamstrings, maybe we imagine the breath can travel up and down the length of that right leg, bringing spaciousness, softness, allowing those muscles just to lengthen over time. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. As we inhale, let's again softly start to rise, creep the fingertips back towards you. And then this time we slightly open to the left hand side. So a little pivot on your sit bones, bringing that left heel closer towards your groin. Right leg stays extended to the top of the mat. Let's bring our right hand to the inside of that right leg. And it's a big old sweep of that left arm up and over. Again, send as much energy out through the fingertips as we can. Beautiful. Maybe we even think about rolling the left shoulder back, slowly gazing underneath that left arm. Lovely deep stretch for the side body. Big breath in. Big breath out. And we inhale, steadily rise all the way back up. Really well done. Okay, from here, left hand softly lands to the ground back behind you we're going to ground down through left hand left shin right foot we push down through those points of contact and see if we can fly the hips to the sky sweeping that right arm up and over again maybe you gaze up underneath that right arm take a deep breath in and as we exhale, we carefully lower down the way we came. So see how softly sit bones can land down towards the earth. Really well done. And then start to turn to face back to the top of the mat. Left knee is going to point back up to the sky. You might even take a moment just to level out those hips underneath you. And you can either keep that left foot to the inside of the right leg, or you might cross it over the top. Entirely up to you. Beautiful. Let's bring that left hand back behind us. Inhale, we're going to shoot right fingertips up to the sky, growing taller and taller. Exhale, right elbow comes down to the outside edge of that left knee and we start to spiral into that twist. Beautiful. Now again, you're more than welcome to take hold of the thigh and just hug it into the chest instead, whatever works for you. Let's think about lengthening through the spine, growing tall, even as we twist here. And again, all those internal organs, all that... All those internal structures in the body, again, they're gooey here. They're just kind of molding up against one another here. Almost like they're getting this little massage, maybe. Beautiful. Take a breath. Take an exhale. 
Beautiful, we're gonna inhale to unravel. Let's maybe take a little counter twist over to the right hand side, so hands come down to the right hand side. Little dip of the chin and the chest down. Beautiful, and inhale to softly rise all the way back up. Beautiful. Okay, bring that left ankle to stack on top of the right knee this time. And again, it's the fleshy part of the knee. Lean into the hands back behind you and let's start to maybe slide that right heel in. It doesn't need to come super close in. So if yours is a bit more out here, absolutely fine. Just bring it in as close as it wants to go. We don't always have to go to that maximum full range of movement. Only if it feels like it's going to serve you today. Sometimes it's nice just to take that little bit of pressure off. Let's check it in. Have we collapsed through the shoulders or can we find that lovely long neck shining the heart forwards? Okay, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. I love it again. Thinking about focusing, thinking about sending that left knee away from you. One more breath. And one more exhale. Beautiful, we're going to push down through this right foot. So again, maybe give yourself a little bit more space. Push down through that right foot, both hands. And again, we're going to see if we can lift the hips away from the mat. Lift them up as high as they can go. Well done. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Unraveling that left leg. Can we kick that left heel to the sky? Deep breath in. Exhale, we bend into that left knee as we bring it down. Can we bring the top of that left foot down to the mat and then gently walk the hands forwards to bring us into that little crouch? And again, that is a quite a challenging transition. So if we don't get it just yet, maybe it'll happen tomorrow in a week or so. Let's see how we go. OK, so however we've got here, we've landed with the left shin down, right knee pointed up to the sky. Then we're going to bring the hands down to the ground or maybe we locate our blocks again. Little lift of the hips as we step left foot slightly to the back. OK, sink into the right knee first of all. So again, belly to thigh, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we go towards lengthening that right leg, finding length through the spine, sending hips to the back, heart reaching forwards. Beautiful. So both legs are long here. But let's make sure we're not locking out in our knee joints. So maybe just have a little bit of buoyancy in the back of the knees just to make sure we're not overstretching again here. Again, you're more than welcome to come up a little bit higher on those blocks or maybe it's hands to hips instead here. Beautiful. Again, choose a variation that's going to serve you today. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let's go for one more here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's start to bend back into that right knee. Step the hands or the blocks that little bit further out in front. We're going to shift the weight into that right foot, both hands. Kick that left heel to the sky. Standing split. And again, maybe we start to dive the torso down that little bit further. Beautiful. Lift up through that inner left thigh. Kick the heel away. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Beautiful. Start to soften through that right knee. Carefully step the left foot to the ground back behind you. Hands come down to the earth. And again, we're going to step that right foot back next to left. Beautiful, back into our downward facing dog. Have that little move and groove if you wish. Steady inhale. And steady exhale. Beautiful, lifting higher onto the balls of the feet, looking in between the palms and then slowly for the final time, control this lower of the knees down. So again, it's just that teeny tiny bit of strength going slower than what you wanna go. Beautiful. Knees land like a feather. Really well done. And again, either swing the ankles or cross the ankles behind you. Release the sit bones down and extend the legs out in front. Beautiful. Let's take a moment to land here. So from here on in, we're going to stay quite low to the ground. Let's maybe bring the knees into the chest. Let the soles of the feet come together. Knees float out to the side, coming into a little Baddha Beautiful. Well done. 
if you have got blocks today, you're more than welcome to maybe pop them underneath the knees. If you feel like the knees feel a little bit kind of tense as they hang out to the side, especially if you feel kind of like a an overstretch in the hip space maybe. So this might be something you like to take. Maybe you sit on top of a block as well here, just to elevate the hips slightly. Also helps with that tilt of the pelvis forwards. And we might just stay here, focusing on lifting up through the spine, finding as much length through the spine as we can, let those knees be heavy. Or again, we might take another little forward fold and you might choose to be active or you might choose to be passive. Same again, when we, cho when we choose a passive stretch, we let the spine round, we let the crown of the head die forwards. If we're being a little bit more active, we're gonna think about hinging at the hips and leading belly, chest, then chin. And that might mean we don't necessarily fold as far if we're being a little bit more active here. And uh, taking a passive stretch gives us the illusion that we're diving further forwards because we're sending our gaze further forwards. So again, it's just different variations of the same thing. Choose what is gonna serve you best here. And again, let's maybe welcome back that little bit of gooeyness. There might be that little sway from side to side. I probably should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this practice for how many times I'm going to say the word gooey. <laughs> it's my word of the week at the moment. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's maybe go for one more. And an exhale. Really well done. From here, let's start to gently roll up through the spine, stacking up bone by bone. Bring the hands to the outer edge of the knees, gently encourage them to come to a close. Bring the knees together. And you're gonna wrap the arms underneath the legs. Maybe you take hold of opposite wrist or maybe it's even opposite elbow. And from here, take a deep breath in, grow tall. As you exhale, you're gonna rock slightly back off your sit bones, rounding through the back. Feel the shoulder blades separating left to right, and then let the chin drop down towards the chest. So we feel that deep stretch through the upper back here. See if we can find that space right in between our shoulder blades, almost like we can pinpoint it exactly. Really send the breath there. Beautiful, well done. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let's inhale to again grow tall through the spine and again squish belly to thighs. And we're going to try and maintain this close proximity between your belly and your thighs now. And then from here, maybe we start to step the feet that little bit further forward. So again, we keep the arms tightly wrapped around the legs, start to wriggle the feet that little bit further forward and come to a place where you feel like you can maintain that proximity between belly and thigh, but maybe also start to come into another little forward fold here. So we might even have the legs pretty much fully extended. We won't be able to extend them completely with the arms wrapped around. Or we might stay a little bit up higher and just think about squishing belly to thigh. So wherever you are, again, is exactly where we need to be. Giving the legs this nice warm hug ah, and starting to dive on in. And here we can release through the back of the neck again. Let the crown of the head dive forward. Beautiful. And even as we're squishing belly up against the thigh, the belly might be getting slightly compressed here. So we might feel as though we can't take those deep fulfilling breaths. But when we breathe, the rib cage doesn't only expand forwards, it expands in a full 360 direction here. So feel the rib cage expand into the side body, feel the back body rise and fall. And hopefully still taking those deep breaths in and out. Beautiful. And we're going to maybe take... Let's take three more breaths here. So giving ourselves time just to be in one place without straight away moving on to the next. One more deep breath in. Deep breath out. And as you inhale, you might kind of step the feet a little bit closer towards you, giving yourselves just enough space to take the arms out from underneath the legs. 
kick the heels all the way out in front now, lean into the hands back behind you. And we're just going to take a moment to puff the heart up to the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades together, just to give the heart a moment, a chance to open here. Beautiful. And as we exhale, lower chin back down towards the chest. Again, make sure you've got plenty of space back behind you. And we're going to come all the way down onto our backs. So again, give yourself space here. Slowly roll down bone by bone. <sighs> might feel quite nice. Just to let the entirety of your spine meet the mat here. So you might even keep the knees bent for a few moments. With either the feet flat down to the earth. Or you might even draw the knees towards the chest. Anything that feels best for you here. And you might even take a moment just to move in a way that feels especially beneficial to you. So again, we all have unique bodies. We're all going to have different experiences here. So there might be something within the body that's kind of calling out for a little bit of attention. We might take a few minutes just to move towards that direction. Move towards whatever's going to really serve you here. It doesn't need to be anything precise. Just softly tend to the body here. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And if we've got the knees in towards the chest, let's maybe let the feet float down towards the ground. Keep the knees pointing up to the sky, however. Maybe take the arms slightly away from your body, so maybe out into a little T-shape here. And we're just going to let the knees softly sway from side to side, going one way, then the other. Notice if there's any places of clunkiness here, or perhaps the movement feels quite fluid, quite spacious in our bodies. Allow the body to get really, really heavy now. Feel as though you can completely and utterly just sink into the mats, knowing that the mat's going to hold you here. It's going to mould to the shape of your body, cradling you, keeping you safe. Beautiful. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let the knees softly float down towards the left-hand side. And you're going to notice how your right knee kind of dives down towards the inside of the legs here. And you can stay as you are. Or maybe we gently lift our left ankle and place it on top of that right knee. So letting the right knee dive down to the ground a little bit more. You might feel that deep stretch across the front of the right hip flexor. Or maybe it comes up that a little bit higher to the right side body here. Beautiful. Well done. It's just going to be one final deep breath in. Final deep breath out. Lovely. Let the left ankle fall away from that right knee. Take your time to bring the knees to point back up to the sky. We very gently find it on the other side. Send the knees down to the right. Beautiful. And again, you're welcome to stay as you are. Or maybe that right ankle lifts and lands upon the left knee. Sending that left knee a little bit closer down to the ground. Beautiful. Steady inhale here. Steady exhale. Beautiful. Let's gently let that right ankle fall down and away from that left knee. Take your time to bring the knees to point back up to the sky. And again, maybe there's those last minute final wriggles, final little adjustments here. Before we can just let ourselves rest into the mat. So choose a shape here and take the time to choose that shape. Whatever you feel is going to benefit you most. Again, whatever you feel is going to allow you to rest, to sink into the mat. But we don't feel as though we have to hold ourselves in a particular shape. It's real effortless to be here. Take up as much space as you wish. Again, it's warm today, so maybe we separate the arms slightly away from the sides of our body. We might even separate the legs a tad, let the feet flop out to the side. Again, slowly find yourselves into that shape or whatever it may be. And if we haven't already, let's let the eyes gradually drift to a close. Closing off the outside world, diving into our internal world.
see how it feels to be here now see how it feels to breathe here now and as you rest just bring your awareness to the parts of the body in contact with the mat here or in contact with the earth Imagine those parts of the body can slowly ground that a little bit more. Imagine they can burrow their way down into the earth soil, feeling the coolness that the earth soil brings. And then also bringing awareness to the part of the body that may be lifted away from the ground here perhaps the entirety of the front body, but maybe also those tiny spaces of the back body, the back of the neck maybe, perhaps the lower spine, the back of the ankles, or even the inner arch of the foot here. Notice the parts of the body that are again lifted away from the earth, and perhaps see how the earth feels against your skin. If we're practicing outside today, we might even notice this real gentle breeze. So we really get to experience the best of both here. We get to experience that deep sense of grounding, that connection to the earth beneath us. But also that spaciousness and potential of the air all around. The final few moments just to listen into what's around you now or listen into what's within you now. And just ever so gently take it all in. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Softly sigh out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. And final deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Gently start to wriggle through fingertips and toes, rotating the wrists and the ankles. And as always, you can allow that movement to really steadily build into anything you need it to be right now. Maybe take a nice big stretch along the mat, stretch out through fingertips, stretch out through toes, anything at all here. And then... When you're ready, let's choose the side, either the left or the right. Roll towards that one side, taking your time. And then gently using your hands to help you as you rise all the way up. And find that comfortable seat. Beautiful. Take your time to get there. Okay. Let's nestle the sit bones into the mat. Palms of the hands gently land upon the knees. Slide those shoulders down and away from those ears. And closing the eyes as we seal our practice, as always, with the final blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. And may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty 
all the days of your life. And with that, we bring the palms, the hands together in front of the heart. And we bow. Oh, really well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for that gooey practice. I hope we're feeling perhaps a little bit more spacious or maybe just a little bit more refreshed, rejuvenated, maybe. And I hope that it stays with you throughout the rest of your day, whatever it is you may be up to. All right. So have a lovely rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'll see you in about two weeks with another practice. All right. See you then. Mwah. Bye. Hey Yogi, thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. Just thought I'd sneak in at the end here and say if you are wanting to practice a little bit more, if you perhaps want to dive a little bit deeper into the beautiful world of yoga, then the great news is, is that I'm offering one-to-ones online. So you can join me from the comfort of your home, me from mine, and we can get together either live online or I'll pre-record some classes just for you. And the beauty of those practices is that they are tailored to what you desire so if you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about yoga if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure what's what and you want to get a deeper understanding of anatomy or how the body kind of moves around on the mat or maybe you're just wanting to try slightly different practices if you're wanting to try yin yoga for example or maybe we're kind of building up the confidence to maybe return to the studio in person and we're not quite got that confidence just yet so if any of those speak to you or maybe it's something else entirely, do feel free to reach out to me. You can either check me out on Instagram, send me a message over there or just send me an email and I would love to practice with you. Whatever it is, I'd love to tailor the practice to suit you, suit your individual needs and we can go on this little journey together. So I say all the details are below if you want to have a chat and I hope to hear from you very soon. All right, lots of love. Mwah.